hi everyone welcome back to my channel gist of tv my return subscribers god bless you all my new viewers you're welcome if you've not subscribed to this channel i don't know what you're waiting for edjo i'm pleading help me to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like and share my videos don't forget to comment nicely and of course don't forget to give me thumbs up yes that's like so my beautiful people um I know I've been away for a while, but a lot came up, but that's a, a gist for another day. Okay, so, um, may the soul of Junior Pope rest in peace. You know, after that water incident of Junior Pope and the other young man that came up and said that he appeased the, the river goddess with Fanta, he even said, you know, he had to pour in the Fanta there, give money to the people of the river and all that, to the children of the river, all that, to appease the goddess, to allow him to come back safely from the shoot, you know, before their ship capsided and we lost Junior Pope and other crew members that were on that, on that ship. Okay, a lot has been said and people were like, okay, what? I've never heard this before. Do you pour Fanta inside the river to appease the goddess? People have been saying a lot like, okay, now the Fanta is going to, now Fanta drink is going to be more expensive. Like, oh, okay. So a lot of people didn't know that, you know, they use Fanta, including me as well, that, you know, you can use Fanta to appease, appease the river goddess you know and all that <sighs> well although re actually recently no she said it's an old picture though but she just posted it on her on her page she posted it on her page few few weeks ago few i saw the picture and i was seeing comments and all that but i wasn't in the mood to bring up the gist and all that but i still i, I still listen to people talk about it uh um how Olori actually was trying to show off you know why right now she wants to show that you know she's been appeasing the goddess and doing that with fanta for a long time or um she's trying to prove to people that oh yes she's been in the system for a very long time what's that why is she bringing up the picture now okay i can remember one person um on her page some of her friends that were consigned and of course not just being consigned you know you have to hear your friend too and some of our fans, yes, were like, okay, praying for her. You know, why some people made comments like, where is your life jacket? Um, do you all know that the king launched a drink? Well, we are not aware of that because me, probably maybe because I've not actually researched. Okay, they said the, the, the king produces one drink. And someone in the comment section was like, okay, Ola, actually, why don't you use uh, the king's drink, you know, to appease the goddess, to advertise for the king as well, as in using one stone to, using one stone to kill two birds. And she was like, okay, this picture was taken a long time ago before the king started producing his own drinks and all that. That's fair enough. And... Of course, um, you all know that Olori actually has been the one performing most of the rituals, and of course, she she's a traditionalist. If you don't know, now you know. You know, when it is time for all these festivals that needs a, um, her presence, you know, she comes down to Nigeria to help perform the rituals that they are needed. She is acquainted, I she is um, familiar with all these rituals. Of course, she's from a royal family. Yes, she's from a royal home and her father, you know, put her through all this and all that. And she knows, she knows the tradition. She's been, she, that was what she was trying to explain to you people that she's been in the palace for a very long time, you know. And she's been, even before they married Queen Naomi, she's been there, she's been performing these ritual, rituals for the king. And she has been with the king for a long time. It's just that she wasn't just ready for marriage. And probably and according to her it was because of her daughter you know she was you know she just came out from a bad marriage her daughter too she's trying to fix her you know her life you know trying to take care of a toddler you know make sure she's okay first before accepting the king's love but according to her that their family you know has already binded them together she and the king 
a very long time ago and yes she was trying to explain to you people that she wasn't the reason behind queen naomi's um issues in the palace with the king in the first place and that she has been there for a very long time but in the background because she didn't want to bring up any problem well let's go back to the drink so a lot of people were like ah, i don't believe that ah, that you can use fanta to appease the river goddess and all that wow so this is true you know a lot of people like trying to find that so this is true this is actually true so people do this and that you know and some people keep praying for her. And for someone that said, uh, one Queen Naomi's fan that is always on my page, you know, she likes me. I like her too. Well, she's my uh, she's my follower, Abby. Uh, she's one of my subscribers, Abby. So uh, she likes me. I like her too. So um, she's, you know, one time she came for me and was like, why did you why did you bring up the gist that, why did you say that um, Olori Ashley is pregnant? Blah, 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 blah. You are the one bringing up the gist. And I was like, okay. So what if what uh, what I heard and I shared on this page is actually true, that Olori actually is pregnant? Is there any problem with a married woman being pregnant? Because now I can see on her page, a lot of her fans are still praying for her, you know, as she's praying for her to be the next year Beji. You know, which is a good thing. And if she decides she wants more kids, I mean, it's a good prayer to pray for a married woman to have her own kids with her husband. Do you understand? So I was just wondering, I kept wondering what's the issue with Olori Ashley being pregnant. Okay, the this my friend said, I am putting up Olori Ashley for drugs. I was like, okay, if I don't carry the gist, other bloggers will still carry her gist. So how am I putting her up for drugs? I don't put anybody up for drugs. I don't criticize anybody. I'm here to bring up what I heard and give my own opinion. That is how my gist is. Okay, I heard this gist though. This is how they said it happened. And this is my own opinion. And that is it. On a period, I'm not citing anybody because I don't know how... Um, what I'm sharing is gist. I don't really know how it all started and what led to what led to that and all that. So I don't judge anybody, do you understand? So I'm here for everybody. I'm here for nobody. I cannot fight anybody's fight. And you see husband and wife matter. Remove mouth. I will keep telling people, come out mouth for husband and wife matter because if it is not physical abuse, if it's not death, if it's not all these things that, you know, that, you know, will make someone to say no. If it's only cheating and okay, bringing other women and all that, they will still reconcile their differences. There's still love. So, my beautiful people, thank you all so much for always coming around, for viewing my channel. Yes, if you've not subscribed to my channel, you're doing me wrong. You're not, you're not helping me. Yes, and yes, if you're listening to my gist and you're not contributing to our gist, you're not contributing, you're not treating me nicely. So, my beautiful people, thank you all so very much for always coming around, for viewing my channel. Yes, and if you've not subscribed, let me talk again. I'll talk and repeat it. Please help me to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like and share my videos. Have a blessed day. Bye.